Welcome everyone to JTW Live. And we are kicking things off with the new JTW Universal Champion, Seth Rollins. Won it at WrestleMania from the former champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. Seth got the opportunity by winning the Royal Rumble match in January. Went for the opposite brand's championship. Obviously, Seth winning the JTW Live title, meaning he has to be sent to JTW Live as part of the Superstar Shake-Up. And he is saying he's going to make this the show of JTW. But, maybe his shield brother Roman Reigns has something to say about this. The big dog coming down to the ring. Seth implying that he's the man of JTW Live. I don't think Roman's going to take too kindly to that statement. These two staring each other down here. Let's see what they say. Roman making it dead clear that he wants a shot at that Universal Championship. Oh! Is it? What's happening to the lights? Oh, Finn Balor's in the corner of the ring. Roman and Seth turn around. The Demon King is standing in the ring. He's taking the microphone. Balor's just come off an amazing victory over Triple H at WrestleMania. Saying Roman can wait. It's Finn Balor now that wants the Universal Championship. Oh! Ring post lit up. Is it? It's the Demon Kane. We haven't seen this man since he injured his knee at the Royal Rumble when he lost his Intercontinental Championship to the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels Seth is not backing down to any man tonight Kane putting his hand on the title and Seth just knocking him away how dare you touch Seth's championship you you know and here comes the rated R superstar Edge what's he got to say first ever universal champion here Edge wants a rematch. He's never actually had a rematch. On JTW, on both shows, title rematches aren't automatic. They do have to be earned, but Edge demanding one. And here is Mr. Money in the Bank, Samoa Joe, obviously won this at WrestleMania. Saying that he's your worst nightmare. That contract guarantees Joe an opportunity at any championship. Anytime he wants any world title, either the Universal or the JTW Championship. And here comes the JTW Live General Manager, Rick Flair. Gonna set the record straight here with all these guys before this gets out of control. Oh no. I think I know what Rick Flair's thinking here. Holla holla, player. We got ourselves a six man tag team match Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. Finn Balor will be taking on the team of Samoa Joe, Edge and Kane. And that match is happening right now, ladies and gents. Let's get right into it. Let's get a referee out here. All of the men that won a Universal Championship shot, plus the champion Seth Rollins, all going to compete in a tag team match. I'm buzzing. Let's go. Who's going to start things off? Roman and Seth talking. It looks like Roman and Kane going to be starting things off for the, both their teams. Kane with a big punch. But Roman, oh, with a right hand. Grabbing Kane from the back. Bouncing him off the ropes. Irish whips him. And a big jumping clothesline takes down the big red machine. Picking him up to his feet. Going for a Samoan drop. But no, Kane gets to his feet. And he's 
Got Roman by the throat, maybe looking for a choke slam from hell, but Reigns lands on his feet, bouncing him off the ropes, and a big spear! Oh, spear early, going to put things away, cover him, one, two, and Samoa Joe just there in time to break up the pinfall. He's got the Coquina clutch locked in on Roman Reigns, that's not good, Finn Balor coming in to help his teammate. Samoa Joe picking him up, throwing him into the referee, that's got to be a DQ, throwing the match away, Seth Rollins now diving in. This match didn't last very long, Seth Rollins with a big curb stomp to Samoa Joe. And Edge with a big spear taking down Rollins. Balor and Edge confrontation. Single underhook. 1960 dropping Edge straight on his head. Finn Balor, the man standing tall out of all of these men. None of these men can coexist. That was a bad idea to put a six-man tag team on match on right now with all these guys. All three men hate each other. Moving on, ladies and gents. We've got... Ric Flair in the ring to announce the next member of the Superstar Shake Up coming to JTW Live. It's Rob Van Dam being traded from JTW Redemption. We've got RVD. Mega star here, Rob Van Dam. Didn't have much opportunity on JTW Redemption. Hopefully that can change here on JTW Live. But he's going to be going one on one with Curtis Axel here tonight. Shaking hands with Ric Flair. Van Dam getting ready for his match. Flair leaving the ring. And let's go. Rob Van Dam versus Curtis Axel. Can RVD make a good impression in his debut match on JTW Live? The bell has rung. Clothesline by Curtis Axel. But oh! Spinning kick by Rob Van Dam. If he only, he only needed a chair and that would have been a Van Daminator. Rolling. Thunder connected by RVD. Curtis Axel rolling. He's in the perfect position already. This is a squash match. RVD going out to the onto the apron, climbing up to the top turnbuckle here. Is he thinking it? Five star frog splash. Rob Van Dam connects. Two, three. What an impressive, easy victory there by Rob Van Dam in his JTW Live debut. And it is time for the Daniel Bryan IC Open Challenge. Anyone can answer. Daniel Bryan, the current Intercontinental Champion, won it from HBK at WrestleMania. Been chasing the title since the debut episode. And it's time. Obviously, it was announced not too long ago that now on every single Redemption, on every single JTW Live, the mid-card championship, whether it be the United States or the Intercontinental title, must be defended in an Open Challenge. And Daniel Bryan, yesing his way to the ring, doesn't have a care in the world. He is just happy to finally have the Intercontinental Championship around his waist. I'm excited for this. Anybody can answer. Who wants a shot? Daniel Bryan saying, who can it be? It can be anyone. Past, present, veteran, you name it. Oh! Oh, wow! In his JTW Live debut, we have got a surprise open challenge. Alberto Del Rio answering the Daniel Bryan open challenge. And it's time. Ladies and gents, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Daniel Bryan versus Alberto Del Rio. Ring the bell. These two locking up with the collar and elbow to start things off. Del Rio with a side headlock. Bryan going to back suplex in, but Del Rio lands on his feet. Reverse DDT position. Bryan rolls around. Northern Knight suplex. Rolling him through. Maybe going for another one. But Alberto Del Rio got... Oh, De Bryan got him in a fireman's carry. Del Rio reverses into a backstabber. That hurts the upper and lower back. Throwing him into the corner. Lifting his legs into the tree of woe position. Del Rio maybe looking to put things away quite early here. Climbing up to the top rope. Maybe going for the double foot stomp. Brian moves out of the way. Step up into Guri. Brian counters it. Puts him onto the apron. Picking him up from the apron. Daniel Bryan got him in a suplex position. Brain buster by Daniel Bryan. Cover him one. Two. Kick out by Del Rio. He's got to have a headache after that one. Bryce got the yes lock in. Yes lock locked in early on. Del Rio countering it. Rolling him up. One. Two. Brian just kicks out at two. One punch. Two punch. Three punches to the head to get Del Rio off of him. Brian picking him up. German. No. Half Nelson. Suplex. And a... Oh! Big roundhouse yes kick to the face of Del Rio. What's Daniel Bryan thinking here? Lifting up his arms. Obviously, Bryan, the submission specialist, got the cattle mutilation locked in on Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio picking him up. Oh, no, I don't like where this is going. No, Del Rio, you can't do this. Not to Daniel Bryan. Vertebraker. Oh, my God.
God, he's dead. Brian rolling to the outside, saving his championship. That would have been it right there. That vertebraker is one of the most dangerous moves in professional wrestling. Banned in many major companies. Del Rio throwing him into the ring. And a quick cover. One, two. Brian gets the shoulder up, barely. Del Rio may be looking to, for that cross arm break. He's going to put him away, but Brian with a forearm to the face. Del Rio hitting the ropes. Big clothesline over the top rope. Oh, back first into the announce table. Brian's hitting the ropes. We know what's coming. Suicide dive by Daniel Bryan to Alberto Del Rio. Picking him up and throwing him back in the ring. Brian walking to the corner. We, I think we know what's coming next. Daniel Bryan going to hit that single leg high knee. Knee to the face of Del Rio, taking him down. One, two, three, and just like that, Daniel Bryan is still your JTW Intercontinental Champion. What an open challenge. I can't wait for the next one. But we have to move on, ladies and gents. Daniel Bryan victorious in this match, but something happened at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar had an open challenge and Batista answered it. Unfortunately, Batista got injured in that match, but Goldberg out of nowhere attacked Brock and Brock cannot be happy. I've heard he's coming out here tonight to call out Goldberg. Lesnar wants a fight tonight. Goldberg, get out here. Lesnar wasting little time. Is Goldberg going to answer? And he does. Here he is, Goldberg. Lesnar calling him to the ring, running in, running in. Lesnar catches him straight away with a big, oh, suplex connecting, just throwing him. But Goldberg's up with a spear. These two just brawling on the ground. Lesnar with an elbow to the head. Referee out here, got to try and split these two up. Not going to work. Goldberg smashes the referee off of him. And Lesnar with a German suplex to Goldberg. Once again on the attack, the referee calling out for backup. He needs the entire roster out here. Big cast, Tensai, RVD, Wade Barrett. Oh, no, F5, but no. All these men helping to split each other up. Lesnar and Goldberg. Oh, and Lesnar knocks over Luke Harper. These guys have knocked Lesnar out of the ring. We hope you enjoyed this episode, ladies and gents. We will see you in the next one.